Hello, my name is Nyla, and welcome back to my channel, Dare to Read. So today we're going to talk about science, but first let's talk about something else. All my subscribers, thank you for subscribing, and thank you, thank you for everyone who viewed. But if you viewed this channel, please. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can see any upcoming videos. Because if you do those three things, then I can learn more to teach you more. Moving on, let's start with naming the planets and saying a little about each one. Also, I got this telescope and I also got a book. Now, this book helped me to look for things on the moon because I didn't know what to look for on the moon. Sure, you would see craters and all that bunch of stuff, but what if you saw something you didn't really know about? Then you would want a book to tell you what it is. So that's why I got this book. Now, the first planet. Can somebody name the first planet? Moms and dads, please step away from the computer. I want my mo my friends to answer this. Raise your hands. See you, I see you, I see you right there. All right, that's good. Let's start with the first planet and one of the smallest, Mercury. Now, Mercury is very fast. It speeds around the sun at like 300 miles per hour. It's also very hot on Mercury. Number two, Venus. Remember when I said that Mercury was hot? Venus is even hotter. It has clouds made out of sulfur acid. That's very hot. Number three, Mars. Okay, Mars is cold and all, but under the surface. Wait for it. It has water under the surface. Can you believe that? And in those water, there are tiny, there are tiny, tiny microorganisms that live under there. Whoa! There's life on Mars. So if you wanted to know, is there alien life on Mars? I uh, kind of. But underneath the surface, there is no way they could survive on top of the surface mainly because it's too cold and Mars doesn't have an atmosphere. Oh, and also because it's a very, very rocky planet. That's three reasons instead of just two. All right, next planet, Earth. All right, we all live on Earth. We have oxygen because of all the trees and all that stuff. And oh, yeah, all right, moving on, Saturn. Saturn is a huge jazz giant, giant, and it has rings around it made of ice. Some are as small as pebbles, but some are as big as school buses. And school buses weigh at least like 30 tons. That's really big. Moving on, the biggest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. And also, Jupiter has something special. What other special feature would it have other than a raging storm called the Great Red Dot raging across the planet at 300 miles an hour? Ding! I answered your question. Moving on. Uranus, the tilted planet. It's, well, laying on its side. We don't really know what made that happen, though. We don't know why it's on its side. Maybe some other planet that existed in the solar system before knocked into it with such a big impact that it exploded? I don't know. The universe was very unstable. That could happen. Moving on. Neptune. Not the last, but the windiest. Like, storms going at jet speed! So fast! Like, 300, 400 miles per hour. That's like fast, thunderclap fast. 
Now, last but not least, because there are way more planets than this. Pluto. So, you know, Pluto is a dwarf planet. It used to be a planet, but now it's just a dwarf planet because it was too small. Now, let's talk a little more about Mars. So, as you know, there is life under Mars' surface because of all the water and the micro and the microorganisms and all that stuff. But what if Mars wasn't rocky? Yes. Mars in one point of the universe or the solar system or when it was created wasn't rocky. There was a lake there. One of the previous rovers that landed, it was the last one, it was the last one so far, landed in a crater that actually had a lake before. Imagine a time in the universe when Mars was lush like this planet and this planet was, well, rocky like Mars. That happened. And then you want to know how the planets like probably took each other's different forms? I think it was because there was water under Earth's surface already developing. And then after a while, there was so much water that it seeped up from the ground. And then all the trees began to grow and all that stuff. Then you got the atmosphere. But then, maybe there was a lot of water on Mars. But the water started evaporating and evaporating and evaporating. And what if Mars didn't actually develop clouds, but lost all that evaporated water? And then the trees began to go away, and then all the rocks came, and then, you know, the Mars became the Mars it is today. That's how I think that Mars got transformed into how it is today, and Earth got transformed into how it is today. So, that's it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see uh, any other future videos. Later we'll talk about black holes. You know, those huge masses of black holes when they when stars die? We'll talk about those later. Another day. Alright, bye! Au revoir! See you later!